Good morning, NWFers. Time for another fishing adventure with me, Aaron Borg, and Double G. Say hi. Morning. We're out here at Williams Lake real early this morning. Well, not as early as I'd like. Apparently when my alarm goes off at 3.50 in the morning, my brain's like, what's going on? Why the hell am I getting up this early? And so I just went back to bed. Luckily I woke back up a short time later and it was only about an hour late, but that's neither here nor there. We're here fishing and instantaneously the fishing is on. The lake, Williams Lake in Spokane County, it's a fairly shallow lake. It's got depths, you know, down to 50 feet, but most of it is a whole lot less than that. So if you're gonna be trolling, you're gonna to wanna to be aware that, you know, well, at least for us this morning so far, the top 10 feet has been super active. Um, we're trolling some Max Lures wedding rings with some troll flashers. We're, what do we got back here in the middle? We've got, uh, we've got, an old goat's lure, OG1, in a perch pattern. And over here, we have an apex kokanee killer. But our depths are like five, eight, and 10, and well, it's been on fire. So let's talk less, fish more. Yo! So, got another one on, on the uh, Old Goat OG1. Seems a little better than the, the other planters we've been having. No worms, uh, just by itself. And he's off. That's what I get for dinking around, waiting for the shot. All right, well, they're in there. Let's go get them again. So if you don't know where Williams Lake is, it's about 45 minutes south of Spokane, 25, 30 minutes south of Cheney. Beautiful little lake. Runs east to west. Like I said earlier, not very deep. There are parts that are deep, but uh, at least in the morning, at least today, the good fishing is in the top five feet. Um, we had a really good one on, uh, as I've probably shown you, but it got off because I was screwing around with the net. The net, by the way, the new net. Net number, I don't know, 17. Center pole. <laughs> yeah, we got a double on right now. Woo! So it's nothing to write mom about, but uh, they add up fast and uh, I think we're gonna have a fish fry tonight for sure. <laughs> Nothing but net, baby. Fish on. Max lure, troll flasher, old go OG1, perch pattern. Alright, 
looks like we put something bigger at the net. How's it feel? Uh, it's definitely not eight inches. No, it's not. Definitely not. This is what we were looking for. Yes, yes, yes. This, this is why. Ooh, wow. We are at Williams Lake. Beauty, man. That is a beautiful, beautiful trout. Let's get that bad boy out of there and take a look. Caught on the Apex Kokanee Killer with a chrome and bronze flasher. Oh yeah. Well, exactly what we're looking for. Beautiful morning here on Williams Lake. There's plenty of other people on the lake with us, and yet the water's still glassy, no traffic to steer around. It's beautiful, it's awesome. It's what you get when you don't go fishing opening weekend. So what works on Williams Lake? It's a good question when you head into any lake. You wanna know before you get there what to do. You know, nobody likes a guessing game, which frankly is why NorthwestFishingReports.com exists. Um, we tabulate all the data, we gather it all together, make some easy to read graphs so you can see what's working best when it's working. So if you go to NorthwestFishingReports.com and you go up to the top menu and you hit locations, you get presented with a couple of options for different types of maps, charts, data, just everything you'd want to know about a location. Location being, no, oh, we got in a hit. Location being Williams Lake today. So click on charts and data, put in Williams Lake, go to the data. It's going to show you fishing early in the morning, trolling with worms. Chartreuse is probably, I think, the number one color for the lake. Uh, that's, that's what does it here. And obviously, we're doing most of that. We're not using chartreuse today and we're not using worms, but they're, they're so hungry that uh, they don't need the worms. I'll put a screenshot up right here. Go to the main menu, go to locations, charts and data, drill down to the right area, look at the reports, look at the data, look at the charts, look at the maps, look at the hot spots, look at the heat maps. All of these things together show you where the fish is reportedly at and uh, it will definitely increase your odds of catching fish over just blindly running out to a new lake and making a guessing game based on other lakes you've been at. They're not all the same and they don't all work the same. So increase your odds, go check out the data. two sizes of fish in this lake. There's this size and way bigger. And there just doesn't seem to be anything interested in biting today that's in between. They're all this size. Um, I'm sure there's tons in here. They put so many fish in this lake every year. There's gotta be thousands of holdovers, but at the moment, we're not finding them. So we've had a good day. And I think uh, after another pass or two here, we're just gonna call it a day and uh, go home and cook some fish. You'll fit perfect in a sandwich, buddy. So until next time, I'm Aaron Borg, Double G, Noah, and uh, we'll see you on the next lake.